Good morning everyone. This is Rohit from Fundamental Desk Access Securities. We'll talk about the market outlook and later city gas distribution companies and our picks in that space IGN and MGL. Asian markets are trading lower as investors remain cautious while they digest US President Donald Trump's tax reform plans. Nikkei was trading lower by 0.24% while Hang Seng was trading lower by 0.33%. SGS 50 is trading lower by 0.07%. The US markets ended lower as investors took note of tax reforms announcement. President Donald Trump proposed reducing tax rates for businesses to 15% from the current 35% for public corporations and 39.6% for small businesses and on overseas corporate profits returned to the country. However, the plan gave no outline of how the tax cuts will be funded without increasing the deficit. The Dow Jones lost 21.1% to close at 29.75 while Nasdaq closed flat at 6.025. Results to watch out for Biocon, Kotak Mahindra Bank, Maruti, Mahindra CI, Hudson Agro, IB Ventures, Menon Bearing, Reliance Capital, Sinjin, Tata Alexi, TVS Motors, UGM Financial. Also, SEBI allows option trading in commodity market and SEBI to issue unified license to stock brokers for commodity derivatives equity trading. On the corporate front, Reliance Industries has entered into an agreement with Germany's Resta to bring innovative good alternative in India. LNT and NCC are among the bidders for Rs. 3,500 crore for Mumbai Coastal Road project. So many ceramics has completed sanitary well plant expansion capacity increase. The capacity has increased from 3.03 lakh pieces per annum to 11.5 lakh pieces per annum. And Petron Engineering has received a contract for a total value of Rs. 110 crore for building structure works in Mumbai. And finally, Apollo Tires has explained, expanded its presence in European truck bus radial tyre market. Talking about the city gas distribution companies, the domestic gas price has been cut marginally from $2.5 per MBTU to $2.48 per MBTU, but gas distribution and marketing companies are in a sweet spot. Price is one, one among a few other triggers. Also, contrary to expectations that the government will hike the gas price to ensure that gas exploration production remains viable, the price has been lowered further, albeit marginally. Low prices will benefit the users of domestic gas supplied by city gas distribution companies such as Indraprastha Gas and Mahanagar Gas. The other triggers to drive earnings are improving industrial demand with an appreciating rupee. While the reduction in gas prices is minuscule, when coupled with the exchange rate impact, input costs have undergone a reduction. The reduction in input costs bodes well for the margins of the companies. Growing industrial demand is benefiting companies further. Low gas prices as compared to fuel oil is now driving growth. The upgrade of facilities by domestic refineries will also lower fuel oil supply by 24% to 7.2 million tons by FI18 from 8.9 million tons in FI16. We believe fuel oil to move from an average of 94% surplus position during FI11 to 16 to a deficit position by FI20. Thus, we expect gas volumes to benefit from this in the coming years. IGL, being a city gas supplier in the NCR, will also benefit from a ban on fuel oils and pet coke usage in the region. And Mahanagar Gas, which benefits from city gas supplies to Mumbai, will also see a steady rise in industrial supplies. The company had won bids for gas supplies in the Raigad region in Maharashtra, which has huge industrial base too. As ramp up in supply infrastructure is underway, the benefits from the region will accrue at a steady pace. So, our picks in the city gas distribution companies lie. Mahanagar gas and Indraprastha gas. This is from my end. Thank you.